Mali, Yellow Feather, was raised in a back canyon, speaking only Apache. Mali is the great granddaughter of Geronimo. Geronimo's raids and related combat actions were part of the prolonged period of Apache United States conflict. They, they say that we inspired Standing Rock, but yeah, I don't see where we inspired Standing Rock because we didn't hold signs up in prayer. We fought. We had the Flat Oak War. This is where we lost a lot of our members of our family. That's when they came over and they were trying to, well, they started bombing us. <laughs> I was, I was, yeah. That was the really worst one right there. That was the first time that they tried to take and take over the mine. And we lost a lot of people there, a lot of family, a lot of relatives, a lot of people in the tribe. The government was called and um, they didn't deploy till after uh, 24 hours while boots were on the ground. By then, uh, we lost the biggest part of the tribe. They had helicopters, uh, tanks, everything. So how do you not know, how does the government not know that they were coming across into the waters, into the land to attack us? They did. And the government waited to come and assist us. By that time, we already took them down, but we lost so much. It was a bloodbath. So that was Rio Tinto? Yes. We don't publicize it. We don't really even talk about it too much due to all the relatives that are not here no longer. The Apaches are, mm -hmm. you know, very secluded. It was not a very good day. We were all sitting and in celebration ceremonies and next thing you know, we're getting bombed. The dude had a a deal from the 1800s. It was a mining pass from Gailey Geronimo, from his great-grandfather to my great-grandfather, stating that they can mine for a year. He thought, well, he could take it and run with it again. No. Right. No. Nah. Because he, he would let some people come over and mine. But it wasn't like a whole bunch of miners, you know. It would mm -hmm. like, you know, hey, yeah, you can go ahead and mine for a little bit. If it was good for the people. But these companies coming over, they just want to suck them dry. His intentions was, and he thought, oh, he found a piece of paper that his great-grandfather had that he think he could pull and say, I'm entitled. No, you're not entitled to something that was between my great-grandfather and your great-grandfather. And that deal was over. We're not going to let him have it. I feel that these people already took enough from everybody. The government thinks they own everything in the Department of Forestry and everything else, and really they don't. There is uh, uh, contracts that were put out back when uh, Teddy Roosevelt was around. That's why we stay on our ground. He gave those titles to uh, 
uh, to uh, Geronimo, which we all possess. So there's no uh, there's no government with D course of title. We have D course of titles. It's like they think they know the story of Gaili Deronimo, which is not true either. He had a twin brother who was Bugala, which thy brother betrayed me. I mean, we want peace. We want to be left alone. We want to be able to live in peace and be left alone. We don't want our stuff messed with, especially our sacred grounds. Our people are there. That was the grounds of massacre, of where families were massacred. And that's what makes it more even sacred. Most of those mountains up there are all through there is the sacred grounds. It's just kind of like Mount Rushmore up in there. Those were all sacred grounds where we used to take off from four corners, our warriors and chiefs and bury them up there, you know, and then they just take it and, hey, it's ours now. That's why we're still in court with them over that. You know, it's like we have to have some type of, hey, we're human, you know. Yeah, it's amazing. 2023, and we're still here. And we're still repeating the past. The land that um, Teddy Roosevelt gave uh, Gay Lee Geronimo to stop the massacres of everybody, and he cut the turtle's tail. The tur- that's why the turtle tail is not complete for Turtle Island. Canada used to be free to the open. We used to migrate all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. You use the word migration. Is that over time or in ceremony? Ceremonial, haunts, everything. Mm -hmm. Gatherings. Back in our time, time, it's different with the powwows. Back in their time with the powwows, it was total unity with the different tribes of the powwows. We would have our powwows and it would go from different tribes to different tribes. And there would be many tribes coming together. Mm -hmm. Come in a good way, go in a good way. We would do different hunts, but we would migrate within the food. Where the food go, we went. Are you talking about buffalo? Fish? Yeah, they followed the salmon just as much as they followed the buffalo. Wow, that's covering a lot of miles. They followed the horses, the wild horses as well. So that history, for people who watch a lot of television, internet, how do you teach the youth? We usually tell them in our story times during powwows or sun dances, um, gatherings. We, you know, we tell them. But as growing 
with your um, children within the tribes. We, the elders do teachings. So a lot of the children nowadays, they have lost their way to even our culture. Yeah. And it was, which is sad. And then not to mention the people, their, their addictions. Um, uh, they lie upon the genocide because we're the seventh generation. There's a lot of pain and suffering within the tribes, within the people, and this is all over. Um, but my elders, on how as Apaches, we feel this is 2023. And a lot of us feel that if you cannot We cannot sit here and revolve within the pain that we did not endure within the points of the spear. That was not for us to endure. It was left for us to remember and use as strength. Other tribes, they swallow upon the pain and use it as a weakness and that's why they're stuck we move forward that's why a lot of our people have already went to the people schooling and engineering working for Lockheed uh, building the NASA working for major medicines and hospitals and revolving with their people. This is Oak Flat, a six and a half square mile plot of land in Arizona's Tonto National Forest. The land is sacred to the Western Apache people. To you, it may look like any other Arizona desert, but to the Apache people, it's the birthplace of their religion. What role does Oak Flat have in keeping things together? For our family in ceremony, we stay in prayers, we stay in our blessings, we keep our ceremony strong. Um, we don't really discuss our ceremonies, but I will, I will put... Uh, this much that we do have our warrior ceremonies we do have our Sundance ceremony which mm -hmm. um, our Sundance type is for when the women be, when the w girls become their women mm -hmm. um, we also have our ghost dance um, we have our spiritual um ceremonies um just about every day the medicine moms they go they smudge within the land so this is like life the way it's always been and somebody's trying to take the land out from under the culture Absolutely. It is, it is a stronghold part of our culture that we use all the time as mm -hmm. part of ceremony, as a remembrance, and as keeping. No, we can't let it go. Mm -hmm. 